Well, the Centers for Disease Control calling for quicker action from Congress to protect pregnant women from the Zika virus. Health officials are warning that the hot summer weather will bring an increase in the mosquitoes to, that carry Zika. The U.S. has already seen nearly 550 travel-related Zika cases, but the House left a Memorial Day recess without approving any additional funding to combat this disease. Brian Yen is standing by live in New York City with more on the concerns about this outbreak. Brian? Hi, Uma. Well, the head of the CDC says the Zika virus is, quote, unprecedented and, quote, tragic in that it can cause severe birth defects with just a simple mosquito bite on a pregnant woman. And with this serious threat spreading around the world, the frustration is Congress decided to take a two-week recess for Memorial Day weekend without approving a compromise funding bill to fight the Zika virus, which means we can now expect a delay for weeks, if not months, before the CDC gets the proper funding that they need to fight this virus and to prevent perhaps a major outbreak of the disease in the coming summer months. And now President Barack Obama asked Congress for $1.9 billion to fight Zika three months ago. And the CDC says every day delayed puts more people at risk. Memorial Day weekend heralds the start of mosquito season in the U.S. We have a narrow window of opportunity to scale up effective Zika prevention measures, and that window of opportunity is closing. In a public health emergency, speed is critical. A day, a week, a month can make all of the difference. The Zika virus is the most harmful to infected pregnant women. The virus is linked to the severe birth defect microcephaly, which shrinks the baby's brain or head. And for most people, though, Zika virus causes mild symptoms with no hospitalization needed and rarely death. Now, Zika is spread by mosquito bites, and it can be sexually transmitted also during unprotected sex from an infected man. Now, there are only two species of mosquitoes that carry the Zika virus. This map shows where the mosquito that's most likely to carry the disease can travel in kind of its travel range in the United States. It's called the 80s Aegypti mosquito, and that is one that is causing concern. Now, again, about 591 travel-related cases of Zika in the United States, which means no one has yet to get the virus while in this country. It has not been transmitted yet. But with summer here, mosquito season here, and apparently the CDC trying to get money, there's concern. Uma? Yes, a big concern indeed. All right, Brian, thank you very much.